contractor, y'all. James, say what's up yeah. to the people. Hi, I'm James with I Concrete Construction. If you know anybody that's looking for a home, make sure you contact my guy Marcus, okay? okay. I know exactly where your where your career is headed because of the way that you communicate. Yeah. Just the way that you communicate with people and really connect. And you got the you do you got the right tone and the pauses and the speed and everything, man. The way that you communicate is just top notch, first class. And that is the number one skill. I need to watch Marquess Branson's video, like seriously, like 15 times. This is groundbreaking, like life-changing stuff when you listen to this guy talk. I'm serious. What's going on guys and welcome to the video. Uh, it's gonna be a day in the life. I'm taking you around to see a couple of my listings today that I have coming to the market very soon. Been working on them for a couple of months, uh, getting painting done. Um, my two uh, clients that I'm working with, they're both uh, had these properties as rental properties. So I'm, I've been, you know, on the on the front end working on getting them painted, getting them clean, getting their tenants, you know, acclimated to their new surroundings or new places that they're going to be staying. And then I'm also handling, you know, everything because my my clients actually live out of state. One is in Arizona, one is in New York. So I'm handling pretty much everything boots on the ground. And that's the type of service that I do provide and why my clients come back to me. So um, this this house right here is going to be a four bedroom, two and a half bathroom. It's 3000 square feet located right here in good old Frisco, Texas. Texas. Um, it's, it's, it's a crazy market out here, especially in North Dallas. A lot of people from California, a lot of cash buyers. So I'm, I'm expecting this one to go quick, go fast, and I'm really, really excited to be putting this house on the market. Let's go inside and go holler at my contract. Uh, Contractor, y'all, James, say what's up to the people. Hi, I'm James with I Concrete Construction. If you know anybody that's looking for a home, Make sure you contact the guy Marcus, okay? okay? You're just looking over a paint job that we just finished up for us. Uh, the house was, it was a wreck. I ain't gonna lie, the tenants didn't leave it in the best shape, but uh, he came in behind them, really got his, got his guys on here. We flipped it over quick. I got a cleaning crew that's probably gonna be here uh, sometime this evening. I'm hoping to get that done. But overall, things are looking good and we're pressing forward. Just finished up with the contractors inside. Really had to get some stuff just uh, buttoned up as far as a couple touch-ups go. A couple places that the, the painters missed. So in the meantime, um, I'm getting ready to head down to South Dallas, which is DeSoto, Texas. I have another listing that's coming up uh, probably on Sunday. I uh, just had some some trades get out of the house from yesterday. They were cleaning and you know painting, doing all the same type of stuff, but there was a lot of less work that needed to be done. Um, so I'm gonna go and check that out. Then I'm gonna snap some photos, send them to my client, and they'll give us final approval so we can get those trades paid. Um, but in the meantime, let's get ready to hit this road and you enjoy some more of that crispy drone footage.
It's hot out here, boys. I'm telling you right now, man, Texas is a different level of heat. I'm from Mississippi myself, so I know about the humid, but man, Texas feels like the desert and the humid put together in one. So I really couldn't tell you, whew, you just got to be prepared for it, just to be honest with you. But enough about that, man. Welcome to DeSoto, Texas. I mean, basket in. Look at this brand new neighborhood. All these homes are probably built around the 2016 year. Um, so, I mean, they're really new and really nice. Uh, but definitely a nice mix of you know people that live here you have some blacks you have hispanics you have whites i mean it's it's a nice cultural you know mix in this area so a place i really like you can tell houses and like look at the facades and kind of look at that nice trees nice greenery so definitely a place that people will definitely like for sure so i'm here to meet my cleaning crew they're going to be steaming these carpets we want to get that done and then also i'm going to take a few drone shots i'm going to take you through that so i like to i like to use a drone as well uh, i think it brings more element as far as you know my listing presentation for my photos it's something that makes stuff pop so uh we'll be doing that here in a second and i'll get back with y'all in a minute it's dirty as she said it is dirty it's, it's really yeah. dirty but it's still, you know this cleaning gonna help a little yeah that should help a bunch and then we got number three in here Okay, number three, good deal. Okay, we come through the front. And the final. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds I'm good. I'm gonna put the equipment in and start here. I work my way out. Work your way out? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you, sir. See, it's a really beautiful neighborhood, man. Really a nice uh, houses. Most of them were built in about 2016. I've, you know, they're, they're fairly new. So, like I said, it's a very desirable area. Um, DeSoto's going through a lot of changes. Like you can see when we went to the Redbird Mall, that area is being completely revitalized. They're dumping about a billion dollars into that. I'm sorry, a couple million dollars into that and really just changing the whole face of that. So that's gonna be really nice. Um, but it's a beautiful neighborhood, man. Got a really big lot. So I think we're gonna get a lot of traction. Um, you guys, Shoot me a comment, you know, in the comments section. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think it'll go for, what it's going to sell for. Bye. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. You, you know some people, yeah, I'm going to have an open house on Sunday if they want to come by. Okay. Yeah. I, I got to come to see. I want to Okay, yeah. I was, I was going to stop by and I was going to knock on everybody's door and let them know and give them a flyer to come on over. Okay. So, yeah, for uh -huh. sure. All if right. you want to come by. Here's my card, man. If you want to, if you ever need anything, okay. I'll be happy to help you out. You, you work for what? Um... Uh, I work with TD Realty. I'm a part of the Branson Property Group. Mm -hmm. Marcus. Yes, sir. Where are you from? I'm from Mississippi. But uh, uh, you look like the is Spanish, Spanish. I know. Yeah, yeah. My, why? Son, my son's name is Marquez. Marquez. Yeah. Uh -huh. but why you Marquez? Who? So I, my mom, she, well, I grew up in California. Okay. Right. So my mom, she, she grew up with a lot, a lot of her friends are Latino. Okay. And so she, she kind of gave me that name. Yeah. Marquez. Mm -hmm. Marquez is your name? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, Marquez. Yes, sir. Oh, because this is second name. Right, that's that's usually the last name for his yeah, Latino people, name, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, doing a quick walkthrough. My guys are in here getting the carpet steam clean, so that's going to be the thing on the agenda. My cleaning crew's done a really good job. It's looking really nice in here, nice and clean, how we want it to be. Got to have that presentation, so when we go fresh on this market, we will be the talk of the town. So, at the, like I said, at a price point of 315, I think it's within a lot of people's budget. I'm expecting multiple offers. I had my guy come over yesterday. He kind of took a look at things as well. So, uh, right now we're just going to continue. I'm going uh, to chop it up with the guys while they're getting this done. And I will uh, see you in just a second.
Hey, Rich. Yeah. What's going on, man? How's it going? Hey, what's up, man? You told me to give you a call when I was down in the area, man. I was trying to see if you was at the house. Okay, man, I, I am. I got a, a few things going on, man. I'm uh, uh, replacing a fence. Uh-huh. But the, the last time we had talked, I mean, I'd, I'd called you and I said, hey, man, what's going on with the market? We had talked about maybe doing a, a refi and cashing out some stuff. But would be beneficial. Yeah. You know, um, and uh, if I wanted... You know, top dollar. Now's the time to sell the house, and I gotten to think about that a little bit. You did, okay. Um, uh, I don't think I want to sell right now, even though I would yeah. probably get some good money out of it. Yeah. Um, number one, man, I, I ain't got nowhere to go, and this would just be, uh, you know, like next week I'd be like, man, living at living in, in a room with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> We had just talked last time. You was like, hey, if you're down here in the area, just come holler at me. I'll be at the, I usually work from home. So I was just, you know, you told me to, to give you a buzz. I said I would. Oh. And, you know, I do what I say I'm going to do for sure. Man, I'm, I'm uh, you know, doing the fence. I had to pull all the fence posts up and reset them. Okay. Uh, so the, the backyard, yeah, it looks like, man, some weather looks like it just. Yeah, it's about, to, it's, about to, it's about to come on down. I'm over here in, uh, in Glen Heights over here off of Maria Court. Uh, taking some photos of this new listing. I got my, my clients about to sell their house, so I'm, I'm putting it up for them. And so, yeah, it came out of nowhere. I was flying my drone, taking some photos, and man, it almost blew my drone all the way to Cutting Kingdom, too. I, yeah, I still got your information, man. Um, uh, at, at this point, I, I, I was kind of iffy. Now I'm not really iffy. Yeah. Uh, unless some, something comes up and I go, you know what, man, this is definitely something I want to do. Then yeah. I got your contact information. You be my guy. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. I just wanted to follow up with you. Like you said, we had talked about it. you were uh, the last time we spoke. You weren't trying to sell it no more. You know, you, I told you you probably be best kind of waited out a little bit because I know you had some things you wanted to complete. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you for the call. Yep. I appreciate it. Yes, and sir. I will stay in touch, man. As if, uh, if anything changes. Okay. All right, man. You stay blessed. Okay. Take care, man. You too, sir. All Bye. Right. Bye. And so. Uh, you know, that's a part of the game right there. So I, I just took you through a conversation with the client that I had cold called some time ago. He also lives in this area. And so he had told me last time. Well, actually, he called me probably two weeks ago, right? He was like, yo, Marquez, I'm thinking about putting the house on the market. I'm like, okay, cool. You sure that's what you want to do, right? Like me, I'm, it's all about relationships with me. Like a hundred percent of the time, it's about relationships that the deals will come as long as you are, you know, doing the best job for people. And I go above and beyond, as you guys can see, there's not too many, there's not too many, uh, realtors that are doing drone photos. I go above and beyond. And this is a $315,000 house. It's not like it's a five, 600,000, but everybody gets the same, the same type of service from me because I'm just into this stuff anyway. You see, I got the best camera. I'm, I'm on the Sony a seven right now. You know, I invest in the process and I know that the return is going to come. So, um, I, he called me up. He was like, yo, Marquez thinking about selling it, blah, blah, blah. We kind of went through a whole conversation. And by the end of the conversation, he was really like not trying to sell the house. And I could tell he was still trying to, he was still trying to do some stuff like renovate the backyard. And he had some pretty costly stuff. Like it wasn't just like small renovations. So we are, we chopped it up. I was like, you know, I don't think you're really ready. You know, he said, yeah, I don't think I'm really ready. But, but man, Marquez, if you ever down here, I usually work from home, right? Come and just give me a call and see if I'm at the house. Stop by and just come holler at me, right? So, hey, if I say I'm gonna do it, it's gonna get done, and that's who I am as a person. And so I called him, and I, he he didn't even. I don't know if he had a new number or he just didn't have my number saved. But uh, hey, you never know. So, but at the end of the day, that'll be a client of mine. You kind of heard it on the call. And so right now, I just called my photographer. We were supposed to meet at four, but it's a little rainy right now, and I guess I'm pretty much done. So I'm gonna try to get him here in the next 45 minutes. But in the meantime, I'm taking y'all to Fuel City. What's going on, guys? We're back at the house. I just had to run and get some food. I didn't even document it, so you guys didn't get to see Fuel City. I apologize. But we got Joe back in the building. You guys remember him from Mississippi. We were back and he's, I told you, he's my Texas guy. He takes care of all my photos and my Airbnbs, all my listings. And so we're getting this going, getting this ready together. Um, this is probably gonna be the finishing touch as far as maybe the vlog. Well, I won't say that. I probably might do a little more vlogging when I get home. But uh, as far as being out in the field, this is probably gonna be it. We're gonna finish up these photos. Uh, he'll get those turned around for me. I got my drone shots. I gotta do some edits on. But for the most part, we are about ready for the market and for this property. 
Uh, I'll also post some stuff, uh, let you kind of see it on my socials. You want to see what the, the, the after effects look like, especially with him taking these photos. Um, but I will see you guys a little bit later.